This video demonstrates how to quickly and easily attach an SSC valve actuator to a 599 series PowerMite MT valve body. The products and tools needed to mount the actuator to the valve body are a 599 series PowerMite valve body, an SSC series electronic valve actuator, a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, and a flat blade screwdriver. The 599 PowerMite MT series valve body accepts both the SSC and the SQS series of electronic actuators. Which actuator is used is dependent on job requirements. Assembly of the SSC actuator to the PowerMite valve body requires no tools. Simply place the actuator on the valve and hand tighten the coupling. The valve and actuator are now correctly mounted. For the SSC actuator, the manual override allows us to manually open or close the valve as needed when power or a control signal is not present. First, turn the manual positioning knob to position the actuator between 0 and 1. The actuator will hold its manual set position until a control signal is received. A control signal takes priority over any set manual position. Since valve bodies can be normally open or normally closed, it is important to remember that the zero position takes the valve to its normal position. This video demonstrates wiring of the SSC61U to a controller that uses a 0 to 10 BDC control signal. First, we need to terminate three wires to the actuator's terminal block. Feed the wiring through the cabling adapter and then connect G to the 24 volt AC hot terminal. Connect G, 0, to the 24 volt AC neutral terminal. And connect Y to the 0 to 10 BDC control terminal. Plug the terminal connector into the pins in the SSC actuator. Reassemble the cabling adapter. Replace the cover of the actuator and tighten the screws. The same terminations should be made at the controller, or in this case, the commissioning tool. When you first connect the valve and actuator to the tool, it will run through a self-calibration test. As we apply a control signal with the commissioning tool, we can see the actuator dial rotating in response to the applied control signal. This video demonstrates wiring of the SSC81U to a controller that uses a floating control signal, also called three-position control. First, we will need to terminate three wires to the actuator's terminal block. Connect Y1 to the first relay terminal. Connect Y2 to the second relay terminal. And connect G to the 24 volt AC neutral to the common relay terminal. Plug the terminal connector into the pins in the SSC actuator. Reassemble the cabling adapter. Replace the cover of the actuator and tighten the screws. The same terminations should be made at the controller, or in this case, the commissioning tool. In this demonstration, the three-position toggle switch on the commissioning tool will act as the relay. There are three positions labeled counterclockwise or CCW, stop or off, and clockwise or CW. As we toggle the switch, the actuator responds by moving first in one direction, the stopping and holding position, and then moving in the reverse direction. This simulates the action of the controlling relay's response to temperature changes.